Happy Thursday, everyone. I'm Tina Jennings. And I'm Heather Stricker. Well, there are certain body parts that reveal our age first. One of the big ones is actually our neck. Yes, so we are going to the best to find out how we can turn back the hands of time. Dr. Jamie Minster is here to talk about neck rejuvenation and all of our options. Doctor, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me, Tina and Heather. Absolutely. Well, you know, I came out to the office. You guys had a ton of great options for us, but today we're talking about the neck. And we did say there's different body parts to kind of show your age first. Um, so what are some of the signs when it comes to our neck and showing our age? <laughs> Sure, so everybody tends to do a really good job at taking care of their face to keep themselves looking yeah. youthful. But when I evaluate a patient for the neck, the first couple of things I'm looking for are kind of from the inside out. I'm looking at the skin tone and texture. Are there fine lines and wrinkles, brown spots, red spots? Are there the bands that are starting to form on the neck? Is there extra fat under the chin? Is there looseness of the skin and the muscles? And based off of what you have, kind of determines what kind of treatments will be right for you. Okay. So that's interesting that you say brown spots because I, you know, I know that we can wrinkle and I've even seen those lines there. And even just recently I've noticed that it looks a little drier in that area, but I didn't know you could also get brown spots. So then what are some of the different treatments for these different things, wrinkles, brown spots? Sure. So, you know, brown spots and redness can come from sun damage, conditions like hyperpigmentation, um, also rosacea. Uh, treatments typically start with good skin care. We do um, some special products for the neck. We also recommend a good SPF 30 or above for the neck. Brown spots and redness can be treated with IPL, which is um, intense pulse light or laser to remove the spots. There are medical uh, grade skin creams like hydroquinone and prescription skin creams that can help with brown spots. When we talk about the bands of the neck, sometimes even little Botox in that area can relax and soften that muscle and give a smoother appearance. Fine lines and crepiness can be treated with chemical peels like glycolic acid, Jesner, and then um, skin resurfacing. We use a skin resurfacing with an herbium that helps soften the, lo the look of lines and wrinkles and crepiness. Well, and so since I have you here, I'm totally going to pick your you know, brain about all the things. So I'm going to do what I consider my problem is what about a little bit of like excess fat, maybe this little thing we like to call our double chin, that friend down there. What about her? Yeah. What do we do with her? There's a couple of different things that we can do for the double chin or submental mental fullness. Yeah. Kybella is a new product on the market. It's actually an injection. It's deoxycholic acid. It's injected into the fat pad and the fat will actually dissolve, process through your body. It takes two to three treatments spaced six weeks apart. Traditional liposuction is also an option to help um, thin out the fat pad of the chin. And then things like the Vela Shape, which uses radio frequency to melt fat and tighten skin, can all help treat the double chin area. I had no idea there were so many options yeah. for this, and I'm really happy to hear it. But now I know a lot of times after we lose fat in that area, sometimes we're left with that like saggy skin. Is there anything you can do for the that? That little sure. Right there. Of right course. There. <laughs> of course. You know, as we start to get into the, some loosening of the skin, we run a kind of out of the less invasive or the office procedure options. But depending on where the loose skin is, if it's directly under the chin, a uh, procedure in the office can be done called a direct neck lift. There's a very small incision that's made at the natural chin crease and tucked under and hidden. Removal of the extra skin and fat versus a full neck lift. A full neck lift requires an incision in front of the ear and behind the ear pulling of the loose skin, tightening of the muscles that have loosened and separated over time. It's a little more of an aggressive approach, but it gives a really nice look. You know what I love about your office, and of course about you, doctor, is that you are matching whatever it is that we come into the office with, with what you think is the right treatment. It's, it's not a blanket answer for everybody. Everybody has different things that they want to see, different you know problems that they've had throughout their life. And I do, I see a lot of ladies that maybe have got this amazing glowing face and it looks so young, but it does, starting from here down, as we start forgetting that that's a part of you know aging and our skin and everything. But if there was one thing you wanted everyone to kind of take away from today's segment, and to let them know this is what you want them to know about neck rejuvenation, why it's so important, and, you know, to take care of that. Sure. I think the most important thing is don't neglect your neck yeah. because it will really give away your age. You want to kind of think about the neck and the head and face as a facial unit. It's something that's very difficult to conceal and it does give away our age. The neck skin is a little different than our face skin, but you should be using the same products on your neck that you're using on your face a lot of times. And then also make sure you're really using the sunscreen, especially here in Tucson. You want to use a good sunblock to protect the neck from signs of aging. Great advice. And actually, I didn't know that you could use your face products on your neck, so I'm going to start doing that immediately. Yep. Um, but I know we keep referring to the ladies and us here, but this is a problem for men as well. 
Very true, and men have a little bit of a different problem. I actually see a lot in gentlemen who wear a suit and tie to the office. They wear a button-up shirt, they button that top button, and they get a little bit of that double chin. They, again, are trying to keep up sometimes with the dating scene, with work, and they're looking to have a, a nice, youthful look, and a lot of men really don't like that double chin appearance. So they're a good candidate for the Kybella, the liposuction, or the Vela shape. So men definitely care about their necks as well. Definitely. Yeah, so before you stick that, you know, profile picture up on Tinder or something, <laughs> make sure to come see Jamie. She'll make sure to, to take care of that for you. I love it. Well, I think the, the most important thing to take away is that there are so many options. If you want to see a change in that area, come to you. Come see all of the different treatment options, and then I'm, I'm guessing we can come in and have a consultation, and, and you'll kind of let them know that the, be, the best options for them. Exactly right. I think you have to take an individualized approach. I think you should approach what the patient dislikes the most first. And then it's going to take baby steps. And some things are a really big result right away. And some things are something that takes over time, as well as good prevention. Well, I say firsthand, both uh, you, Doctor, and Dr. Wire, and the staff over there, you guys are amazing. You guys have a great office. So this is the perfect atmosphere to come in and have uh, anything done. So thank you so much for coming in. Yes, thank thank you. you. And to sweeten the deal, we even have a special for our viewers. For a limited time, you can receive $100 off of Kai Bella treatments and complimentary skin care and laser consultations with their certified esthetician. The offer expires July 1st and to learn more just call 207-3100 or log on to dermplasticsaz.com.